what's up hey what's good what's popping i am miss Barry. welcome back to my channel i appreciate you guys for sliding through and coming to kick it with me now as you guys can see from the title i'm getting up into something new i am r am i saying that correctly yes i'm getting up into i am r which is this video that i'm going to react to i seen michael myers um as the thumbnail and michael myers is my favorite serial, serial killer and i can't even talk y'all as usual i still can't talk y'all but he's my favorite serial killer don't ask no questions don't ask me why i can't wait for october 14th halloween ends is coming out you know what i'm saying but anyway y'all so this is three true true footages caught by doorbell camera i love horror in general like i can watch scary stuff all day that's my favorite genre halloween is one of my favorite holidays but anyway i'm not gonna do too 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 much talking i'm very very excited i should have reacted to this at night time you know it's still daytime but anyway you know it's going we're gonna make it do what it do and do what it do but it's following stories da, da, da. okay i'm reading i'm doing too much to do. <laughs> y'all so we here following stories are inspired loosely based on true events stories are reconstructed in a way that it doesn't affect the victim i was looking for my glasses that it doesn't affect victims or suspects make it seem like i can't read and i can read like stop playing with me this video longest ever y'all let's get into it true doorbell story number one On a cold, silent night, the owner of a house heard some rustling noise at the main door. When they switched on the doorbell camera, they saw a man dressed like Michael Myers, the popular psycho villain character from the slasher movie Halloween, standing outside their door. I would have been like, Michael, you better take your back home. You better go back to uh, Illinois. Story you are about to see is a dramatized animated version of this found footage. I live in a small town in Minnesota. My dad works in the factory and often stays on the road to deliver goods from one place to the other. My mom works at the local bakery, so I am used to staying alone in the house. So this one afternoon, I came home, took out the big tub of chocolate ice cream from the freezer, and sat down in front of the TV as usual. After searching for 10 minutes, I couldn't find anything fun to watch just when I heard a knock on our door. At first, I thought I had made a mistake, so I didn't get up and continued watching TV. But then I heard the knock again. Someone was knocking very slowly at our door, like tap, tap, tap. Mm -mm. The knocking order was prolonged. Who got time creepy, but all of that creepy As our dad is mostly stuff. out, my mom made him install a doorbell camera on our entrance. And thank God she did. I was strictly instructed to never open the door without checking on the screen. So I got up. As you said, I hope everybody teaching their kids not to just open that door, be all in the window, how to cross the streets, all of that. Walked to the entrance and asked, Who is it? Open. I wasn't expecting to hear such a spine chilling voice, so for a few seconds, I couldn't say a word. Then again, the voice came. Don't make me wait. Open the door. With shaking hands, I switched on the doorbell cam screen. And as soon as the recording popped up, I almost had a heart attack. A man dressed like Michael Myers was standing outside the door. His mask looked even more distorted than the one used in the movie. Now, I am a 13... Because it looked like he put, the, put that mask together or something. I don't know what that was, but that didn't look like no mask. Old skinny, average height teenager. The man, on the other hand, looked quite muscular and heavy built. He brought his mouth close to the camera and screamed can't you hear how many times do i have to say open the damn door no what the hell do you want <laughs> i just want to come in i've been here already so let me in look man you're obviously at the wrong house so so you better leave or i'm gonna call the cops right now by this time i was sweating in fear my breath got abnormal, 
and I just pray to God for making this man go away. But hearing the cops, he lifted his hand, which had a huge knife, and punched on the door and kicked it in anger. He then took a few steps back and said, I will be back, and walked away. Feeling terrified and scared, I called my mom immediately and told her about this man. She calmed me down saying someone was probably trying to prank me. As See, come on now. I'm talking about, okay, like I understand people do pranks and stuff, but if it's late at night like this, you know what I'm saying? It's nighttime, your child is at home alone and they telling you like, yo, don't nobody got time for that. Like I'm hooking and booking, like I'm on the way. I'm in all state. But I knew this man was serious. His voice and his words didn't sound like a prank. I begged my mom to come home soon, and she did that day. But the entire evening, she went on explaining how it was nothing to be worried about. We ate dinner and went to bed. What kind of dinner was that? That looked... Never mind, y'all. No matter how hard I tried to sleep, I just couldn't. Probably around 2 in the morning, I dozed off and heard a low creaking sound in my room. As I opened my drowsy eyes, my stomach dropped. My room door had been creaked open, and Michael Myers was standing there. His eyes were fixated on me, and he was breathing heavily, which made his chest go up and down like a hungry wolf. But the knife was missing from his hand. Just then, I thought about my mom, and my blood ran cold. I uttered in a shaking voice. How? How did you get in? Because... She opened the door. <laughs> what? Mom! Mom! I Please tell me he's dreaming. Mom sitting in my bed. I was about to start crying when a bolt of huge lightning struck at some distance. And for a second, I closed my eyes. Once I opened them back, the man was gone. My room door was closed and everything was completely normal, as if... The man was never there. After calming myself down, I slowly got up and tiptoed out of the room. The main door was closed and there was no one in the house. I peeked inside my mom's room and she was asleep like a rock. Thinking it was all my disfigured imagination, I blamed myself and went back to bed. The next morning, I didn't say anything to my mom. I left for school and my mom left for work. In school, I could hardly concentrate on my studies. My best friend Matt was absent too, so I decided to bunk the classes after recess and return home early. I wanted to take my mind off, so I planned to play some video games and get some sleep after going home. But after recess, when I came home, things were different. I used the key under the mat to enter the house. Once I got in, I could hardly believe my eyes. All of our furniture was scattered. Lord, and hold on, y'all. It's the ad coming. I do not got the YouTube premium yet. What the heck? Whenever. Back to it, y'all. A rampage took place. It's only been five minutes. And the sound of metals clanking can be heard from the kitchen. The blood in my veins started rushing three times faster in fear. I grabbed my baseball bat and slowly walked to the kitchen. Y'all, what y'all would've did? Would y'all would've did the same exact thing he did? Would y'all would've picked up some and went to go investigate? Or would y'all would've just ran right back outside? Because I'm not gonna lie. If I open the door and I'm hearing stuff and all of that, I'm not about to go investigate. I'm not about to be kept to save or nothing. Like, I'm out. I'm hooking and booking. I'm out. I'm about to go get help. I'm about to... I'm not doing all of that. No. 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 What I saw changed my life forever the kitchen tap was running and the man dressed like michael myers was standing in front of it facing his back at me he was going through the kitchen drawer looking for something suddenly he turned around and our eyes met he got perfectly still and then said in his demonic voice do you know where she kept the knife what how did you oh, First and foremost, Michael don't even talk. You little bootleg Michael, he don't even talk. This is he used to when he was a kid, but he don't talk as no adult. Mm. Dream. Oh my God. Last night you, you were actually, actually here. My head started getting heavy. I was so afraid 
that I thought I will faint. And that's when I heard my mom speak in a creepy voice. Oh, Michael, I'm ready. I turned around towards the stairs and saw my mom coming down wearing her wedding dress. She had lots of makeup on her face, which made her look horrible. Her eyes were different. Her stare creeped me out. Mom, the hell do the y'all got I going on? This, she stopped. She obviously didn't expect me to be home at this moment. Seeing me standing at the end of the stairs, her face turned pale. In a fumbling voice, she said, Jeremy, why are you, what are you doing here? Mom. Nah, what are you doing you here? Know him. Look, Jeremy, it's nothing. Michael and I like spending time together. So in other words, lady, you knew why your son was calling when he was calling, when he was saying what he was saying. And you was making it seem like, oh, it's nothing. It's just somebody trying to prank you when you knew you was in love with this man. It's like... Your father's not home. Otherwise, I get... So Are you cheating with Michael? Only you understand, right? I was spellbound. My mom is having an affair with this psycho guy? I couldn't take this anymore. I slowly stepped back to the main door. The man now came out of the kitchen. And my mom, too came down the stairs. I spoke while fumbling. Uh, who is this guy? Eh, and, and why is he dressed like Michael Myers? Um, baby, you know how different people like different things, so... Oh my god! Is this some kind of sick fantasy you two play out? Oh, holy smokes! I didn't stay for her answer. I ran as fast as I could and heard my mom yell. No, it's not what you think! Please, come back! But I am not going back. No, I won't go back either. Bump that. I am living in this small tunnel right near the railroad. Nah, I'd be like, Ma, look, it's either Michael or me. Michael gonna have to get the hell on. Like, first and foremost, you married. Do daddy know? Like, yeah, he, he away on working business and stuff like this. But out of all people in the world, Michael. I mean, Michael, my favorite serial killer, so I ain't really complaining. But still, Michael, though? I can hear the sheriff's car patrolling this area every 12 hours. I know my mom has asked the cops to look for me. What I don't know is that, did she tell the cops about her psycho admirer? I bet she did. No, psycho boyfriend. I'm waiting for my dad to come back tomorrow. His truck will pass from this area, and the moment I will see him, I will tell him everything. Till then, I am going to live undercover. I don't trust my mom, and I do not trust the man under the Michael Myers mask. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. If so, please leave a like. And also, a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. If you want to support this channel and make this channel reach the 1 million mark, please consider subscribing. It's free and you can change your mind later. I'm Enjoy. loving the graphics. We can't answer the door right now, but if you'd like to leave a message, you can do it now. Hey, just wondering if you guys saw Lost Puppy. He's a pit bull. Blue nose. I believe he came in your yard, but I don't want to look without your permission. Hey, you at the wrong house, dog. In this oh, footage, he, should, he you got can a whole gun. With his face covered by a bandana, sunglasses, and a cap, who continually takes a gun out of his pants pocket. He is knocking on the door of a house and asks permission to enter the yard so he can look for his puppy. He had the, the owner change his voice. It, the man leaves, but that doesn't guarantee that he won't come back. The story you are about to see is a dramatized animated version of this scary found footage. I've always known how dangerous this world is. During my childhood, my Hispanic mom used to be very cautious. In fact, she took care of me too intensely in my opinion. But ever since I became the dad of my two adorable twin daughters, Ava and Ella, I've started to understand my mom better. Out there, we are always in danger. You never know what kind of maniac who wants to hurt your children, your partner, or who you will meet. But have you ever thought that they could come to the door of your own house? It was a Sunday, the day it happened. My family and I were all home, enjoying a lunch that my wife and I had prepared. Daddy. Yes, Ava? Can Ella and I go play with the neighbor when we finish eating? Uh, um, we'll have to... Girls, we already decided to stay home today. Yesterday was a very tiring day. Wouldn't you prefer to stay here? But, Mommy... Your mom is right. 
Didn't you play with your cousins enough yesterday? Can we go alone? Immediately, the answer to her question formed in my mind. Our daughters were only six years old, so they were too young to go on their own just yet. These characters look older than six. No, girls, I'm sorry. But, Daddy... You'll have to play at home today. After that, we continued to eat normally. Although, my daughters seemed upset. They look like they're about 13, 12. I was talking to my wife about work matters when suddenly something started to sound. It was the front door. Someone was knocking. I thought you weren't expecting anyone today, darling. I don't... maybe it's a neighbor. Uh, I'll go see. I soon got up and walked out of the dining room towards the front door of our house. Before I could get up, the person knocked on it again. Hey, just wondering if you guys saw Lost Puppy. He's a pit bull. Blue nose. I believe he came in your yard, but I don't want to look without your permission. That don't even sound like. And you at the wrong house, dog. Hold on, this ad, y'all. These ads. I'm sorry. If I told you for one dollar down, I could get you into uh, Apple laptop gaming. Nope. It's always the catch. I carefully oh, my watched allergies. the man turn and walk away. I was gonna say this man's voice. His voice don't sound like how he look at all. At all, like is he? Did he make his voice sound like that? Though the bandana, sunglasses, and cap he was wearing didn't allow me to see his face, he didn't look like any of the surrounding neighbors. Why would a person come to walk his dog here, and how could he lose them? The situation was very strange, but mostly, I was worried about how covered he was. So I was relieved that he was gone. Oh, yeah. I guess I returned to the dining room with a worried expression on my face as Emily Smile, who was laughing in the company of our daughters, faded and was replaced by concern as soon as she saw me arrive. It didn't take long for her to get up and walk towards me. Mommy? When she reached my side, she took my arm and led me out of sight of the girls. Are you okay, honey? What happened? Who was there? Uh, a man. A man? Who? I don't know. He wasn't a neighbor. I couldn't even see his face. He was wearing a bandana, uh, sunglasses, and a cap. What? Oh my god. Oh my god, what did he tell you? Something about a lost puppy he saw wandering into our yard? Uh, he wanted us to give him permission to enter. I, I don't know what kind of people he thought we were, but, I mean, I'm not that dumb. Oh my... has he left? Did you see him walk away? Yes, darling. He's already gone. Since I noticed that my wife was on the verge of an anxiety attack, I gave her a hug for several seconds. When we parted, she said, I'm not hungry anymore, honey. I'll start cleaning. Together we returned to the dining room, where our daughters were laughing as they finished their lunch, totally oblivious to what had happened. Seeing me, Ava shouted, Daddy, can we go play? Of course you can, my girls. Uh, but you have to finish your food first. Yes, Daddy. And I hope they playing inside the house. <laughs> Looking at my daughters in high spirits made me the happiest person in the world. But that joy faded once the man appeared in my mind. I tried to stop thinking about him when I walked into the kitchen. I couldn't help but notice that my wife's hands were shaking as she washed the dishes. In fact, at one point, she slipped one of the glasses and it fell to the floor. Of course, it broke. Uh Honey, I'll take care of this. Go rest. I continued washing the dishes when suddenly I heard the sliding doors that connected the house with the garden were open. I immediately started running towards it, but luckily it was only my daughters who were there. What's wrong, Daddy? Didn't I tell you that you can't go out? But you let us play in the garden. You didn't tell me it would be in the garden. Just stay in the house! Both of them did as I told them while their eyes filled with tears. I didn't like yelling at my daughters, but I was really nervous. I started to take deep breaths to calm down when I began to hear something moving in the bushes. Concerned, I approached them. It was then that I saw him. There, sitting on the ground to hide, was a boy. He was perhaps only a little older than my daughters. He was dirty. His skin was bruised all over, and it looked like he hadn't slept or eaten in days. I was really confused. But what I did understand was that the child was in danger since his face expressed terror. Before I could speak, 
He put his index finger between his lips, trying to ask me to keep quiet. What a coincidence. A voice was heard behind me, so I didn't hesitate to turn around. My heart started beating fast when I saw the man. I immediately had a bad feeling about the boy. What are you doing here? Get out! You gave me no choice. I had to come find my lost puppy. There is no puppy here. Go away. Don't lie to me, man. First and foremost, I wouldn't even hear let something like that slide. Somebody come knock on my damn door. Talking about a puppy dressed like this. And I, like, I'm not about to just resume life. Like, no, that's not normal. He's right there with you. Come here, puppy. That's not no dang the boy old puppy. With fear and began to cry while shaking his head. Don't you have a brain, dog? Come here right now. If you try to get close to him, I'll call the police. You wouldn't dare. People just say the stupidest things. Like, I'm not even going to let you know what I'm going to do. Because then they're going to try to stop you or whatever the case may be. Coward. Suddenly, the man pulled a gun out of his pants pocket and pointed it at me. At that moment, I was in shock. I began to feel how my skin was covered with sweat due to nerves. Give me my puppy, or would you rather die? <laughs> I didn't know what Crazy. to do, so I stayed put. Luckily, a police car was soon heard arriving, which scared the man and made him leave. He just walked Apparently, away. Apparently, he had gone to the houses of other neighbors and one of them had called the police. At least somebody was smart enough to call the popo or to do something because I'm not about to just resume like that just didn't happen, like somebody just did not. Like, I'd be scared to go outside. Or not necessarily, because I'm in all state, I wouldn't. I soon took the boy with them and told them everything that had happened. We later learned that the kid was on the missing list after being kidnapped by that man. When he had the opportunity, he managed to escape and hid in the garden of my house. Police are still searching for that man. Meanwhile, I can't help but worry about my daughters. In fact, I still clearly hear the way the man called the boy puppy. I'm tired of these ads, but nah, I do understand that. You know, Dad people's packs. channels are monetized. Not little or not so little. Dad pack. Dad Skip. In this video, we can see first and foremost, what it what will possess you to open a door for a random stranger, sir? A young man who seems to be under the influence of some drug wants to enter a house. The owner of the house manages to get him out before it is too late. What he didn't know is that this was not going to be the last time he would see him. The story you are about to see is a dramatized animated version of this found footage. My name is Alan, and I live in a small town outside the city with my daughter Susie, who is only nine years old. Normally, this is a very quiet town. We know all the neighbors, and when someone new comes in, we immediately realize that they are not from here. The place is so safe that we even leave our cars unlocked and our bikes outside. We feel so safe that many neighbors even leave their front door unlocked, knowing that no one is going to break in. It's nice to live with that peace of mind. During that night, Susie- That's how they used to do the back in the day. You know, you can leave your door unlocked, you can see, you know, and people wouldn't bother you. But you can't do that nowadays. Like, people crazy. I was already in bed, waiting for me to go upstairs and tell her a bedtime story. I was going to go upstairs with her, but I heard a beep at the door. It was my camera alarm. Someone had tried to break in. Luckily, I had left the door locked that day. I still had the habit from when I lived in the city. The neighbors always questioned my locking the door and the fact that I had a camera on the door, but I told them that I would eventually get over it. And a lot of confidence in whoever was at the door, I approached and opened the door without asking who it was. I wouldn't have did that. Why would you do that? Locked out or needed some no, surely nothing. At no at at no point am I about to just assume 
or whatever. Like, I'm not about to do that. I mean, I understand, like, you know, being in a neighborhood where everybody leave their doors unlocked and stuff like that, but just the fact that people look at you for locking your doors and having a camera, like, you can't be too safe. Like, just because something seems safe, that don't mean that it's always safe. You got to be protected, period. But I'm not opening no door if I can't see who it is. If I don't ask, like, I'm going to look and see who it is before I be like, who is it? Because what if I don't want you to know I'm home? <laughs> when I opened the door, a young man was waiting on the other side. The young man was shaking, but he didn't look scared. He looked, His eyes were going in different directions. Like a dang on he vampire. He didn't look angry. But he looked like a rabid animal that at any moment could have a screw loose. Hello. Uh, hi. H how are you, sir? Who are you? Uh, uh, Aaron Reynolds. Uh, I'm a neighbor. Uh, uh, good. Um, you need to leave. The man didn't answer me. He just stared at me. Uh, out there? Out there. What's the what's the water pressure? What? What what's the water pressure? Come on, uh, where are you going? What's the water pressure? Goodbye. What was that? As I watched the cameras, I saw how the man was still there, trying to force the door. He wasn't even trying to kick it or break it in. He was just trying to open it as if it was unlocked. I grabbed my phone to call the police, and as the number dialed, I turned to look at the camera again, and the man was gone. Over the next few days, I watched as the police passed the block over and over again. This should have made me feel safer, but it only made me think that they still hadn't found the man. I didn't feel safe leaving my daughter alone in the house while a psychopath was on the loose, so I took her shopping with me one day, First off, the, the, the girl, she looks too young to be left in the house. I mean, it's just the animated version, so, you know, I don't know. But I'm just saying. Susie was late getting changed, so I went upstairs to hurry her up. Susie, uh, come on, honey, we're going to be late. As I opened the door and looked ahead, I dropped my keys and my eyes widened wider than they had ever been. As Susie innocently played with a toy car, the psycho from the other night was behind her sitting on the floor, combing her hair. Oh, hell no. I'm sorry. As soon as I would have seen that pop, 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 pop goes the weasel, like, no. My heart started beating wildly. and I, I mean, I know the child is in there. You know what I'm saying? Please don't yell at me because I'm pausing like this, y'all. Please. To breathe hard and sweat. My whole body was cramping, but I couldn't scream. It would scare Susie. What are you doing here? I was combing Susie's hair. Wow, she played with her car. You also came to check the water pressure. Yeah, yeah, yes. I came to see that, too. His appearance was a mirror of the other time. The man was trembling nervously and breathing heavily. He seemed absolutely focused on combing my daughter's hair, who was unaware of the danger she was in. Susie, sweetheart, I told you that you shouldn't talk to strangers. Saying this was a bad decision. I could see how the man got annoyed with my answer. He began to tremble more and more, and his eyes pointed in my direction. But what scared me the most about this was not the man, but my daughter's response. But Daddy, Aaron is not a stranger. What do you mean, Pumpkin? He's with us every night. He always walks down the hall when it's bedtime. My blood froze. You're gonna... You're gonna kick me out again, aren't you? Aaron, can you come over here? I just want to talk. You're lying. You you want to kick me out. Still combing my daughter's hair, the man turned red. He was breathing wildly like a caged monkey. His dirty fingernails started to tear the floor and his gaze, lost, focused only to look at me furiously. <laughs> Sir... I, I, I don't want to be rude, but, but I'm getting very upset. And, and when I get upset, I can't control myself. I get, I get kind of mean. Uh, slow down, Aaron. You're hurting me. This was a delicate situation. The only reason Susan didn't realize her life was in danger was that her back was turned and she couldn't see the man's face, who looked on the verge of collapse. 
No, n not at all, Aaron. I just want you to help me check the water pressure. Oh, but I've already checked it. Well, well, I, I, I but I guess I can do it again. Uh, come with me, Susie. I was about to say no, but this man could snap and hurt my daughter. So I went along with I'm sorry. I'm no. I mean, I understand. You know, you got to sometimes play that part, play that role. But he walking down the hall holding the baby's hand and... People crazy. I walked alongside them, looking for an opportunity to attack the man. But it was impossible. I was too close to Susie. When we got to the basement, I opened the door and the man became happy and distracted. This was my chance. I pushed him into the basement and quickly closed the door. I pulled it with my whole body. Uh, help! We're being robbed! Help! Dad, you locked him up! Let him go! He hasn't done anything! While my daughter was crying and pushing me, the man was kicking at the door desperately trying to get in. At the same time, I was screaming, hoping someone would hear me. Alerted by my neighbors, the police soon arrived. The man's kicking and screaming were over, but when the police descended into the basement, I never expected what I was about to see. The basement was empty. A hole in the upstairs window and a pile of boxes not only revealed that he had entered through there, but we also found food on the floor and used sheets. While the police searched for him all over town, the man was under my own roof, sleeping in my basement. In the days that followed, I filled the windows with cement and locked the basement. The police asked me not to tell anyone about what happened in our small town, as they did not want media attention. The whole town found out what happened. They were never able to catch this man, and it is suspected that he is no longer in town. But from that day on, no neighbor leaves the door of his house open. See, that's the that's that type of stuff that be happening, y'all. That's that type of stuff that be happening. That's the type of stuff be happening when you're not being cautious and you're not being safe and all of that. Like, that's just crazy. That was so, so crazy to me. Like, I've never seen anything like that before. That was, that was very different. Um, and I actually, it wasn't, it wasn't scary, um, to me at all or anything like that. It was just more so like me in my head, like, yo, what you doing? And oh, I would, you know, it's just like what I would have did and what I wouldn't have done type of thing you know but it was very pretty interesting because this is my first time reacting to anything like this so it's very very interesting if i might say but i hope that you guys enjoyed this reaction video just as much as i enjoyed reacting to it y'all comment down below give me more things that you guys would like to see me react to on this channel i do pay attention to the comments also don't forget to like this video up y'all thumbs it up give me a like you know leave a like show some love y'all go over to imr's channel and subscribe to his channel because i'm pretty sure y'all gonna want to see some of these stories as well if you're into like the horror and scary things that like i am <laughs> like into it um also y'all don't forget to also hit that red subscribe button and ring that bell so when i drop a new video you guys will know you won't miss it because they coming y'all they come and i appreciate you guys for tuning in and kicking it with me but it's time to go we gotta get up out of here and until next time